Welcome back to a new video on Punta Cana, all you can see. We are on the search for a new beach today. And uh, I found these on uh, beachfinder.com. So I'm bringing them. Yeah, so we are on the search for a new beach. You know that in uh, Bavaro Punta Cana, the beaches are well packed with hotels and apartments parking uh, gets uh, worse and worse and I remember the times when we just could drive to the beach and uh, beach so when I did the plane spotting video I was at the airport and there is a road next to the airport and I wow that's better and I remember that road and you could come down to Cabeza de Toro or to Cabo Engaño but from the other side where we used to come the road is closed so now it says there is Playa Bonita and Vase. I'm using Vase again. Uh, it's showing me that I can go there to the beach. So this is what I'm trying out today. I'm using Vase again because it's not only showing you where to drive, but also the speed limit. And I wanted to show you that this is actually really cool, especially when you come here as a tourist and you have no idea and uh, you can live here 20 years and still have no idea. So. Have a look at it. We are driving now here. The road is made and it says Punta Cana Free Trade Zone and Cabo Engaño. This is where we're driving now. This is the end of the paved road. Then we go to Cabo Engaño and this wall, uh, behind the wall is the airport. Yeah, and this is where the road starts to get bumpy. I did stop at the house here and uh, ask for directions because I, when I was last okay. time, the road that Vase showed me to go said Calle Privada, private road. Okay. So I double checked, but the guy said, no, it's not a private road and you can okay. drive there. Porque fue el otro día y dice Calle Privada. No, no es. Okay, perfecto, muchas gracias. Gracias. After turning behind the house, it took me 15 minutes to get to the beach. It's only five kilometers, but there are some really bad holes and you have to drive slow. As well, there is a part where it looks like there are mangroves. So if there was a lot of rain before, I probably wouldn't dare to go here because I think the road might be flooded. Under these palm trees here was the only shade that I could see for, well, as far as I could see. So this is why I parked just over here. There is a road to your left, which you can take and uh, over here and drive down to the sand. Yeah, and then this came a little as a shock that there is so much plastic at the beach here. I know at the natural beaches this happens because nobody cleans it up and it comes from the ocean, but this really was a lot. And if the road wouldn't have been so bad, I might have considered turning around. But since we've been there, I decided to walk the beach. And the beach beach is like this. Beautiful. So you have to look past the garbage. At the beginning, we had also some flies following us. But this uh, stopped after just a little while. Still, it was kind of strange. This is what I'm walking to. This is what the fishermen build themselves. And I hope that Adam Bolle can get some shade in there. See a little teepee with shade. We're gonna use this today as ours.
Yeah, guys, I'm more, I am more than happy that we found this little shelter here. So there is no other shadow and it would have been really too hot and we could not have stayed if it wouldn't been for this little house here. I really feel Caribbean, but um, there is really a lot of trash. So you have to uh, overlook it to come here because this area is really nice. If you look towards the ocean, it's stony. And uh, for those who want to go and walk a little bit, you maybe find some bigger seashells here. That's the only area where you can really find them to enjoy the day alone at the beach. If you are here and have something to drive, I would say, well, I, the last five kilometers I drove really slow between 20 and 10 kilometers per hour because there are holes and there were two larger potholes that were dry more or less but I think if they are uh, full of water so after a heavy rain don't do it let's say it like this after a heavy rain don't do it if you don't have the car for it a 4x4 high one like mine but even I think I wouldn't try because I'm always afraid when I'm alone in the countryside that I get stuck for this it's nice Beach is stony, but you can walk here. And I know a lot of people that uh, go go fishing with the fishing equipment. They come here too. This is why we found this nice shelter. Yeah, I wouldn't dare to go in here. It's very stony, but I think further down the beach, there's an area where you can go. And over there too, it's a little bit more protected, but there is as well a little bit more trash, so I prefer this. Thank you for watching Punta Cana, all you can see. Thank you for joining us at the beach here in Cabo Engaño, just behind the airport. If you're coming to Punta Cana, woo, make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out the playlist, a lot of videos in there, restaurant, bars, hotels, beaches. Yeah, and don't miss out. I say goodbye. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao ciao. Greetings from the beach. A la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón. A la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La La casa del merengue, la 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 la, y la casa de la bachata.